Hello, behind the cage. Woe is me. As this tale is sad, I am locked in this castle. Far up. Guys, it's me. Don't worry. I just changed my... I, hey, I just... Welcome back. I just changed my suit of armor, like I said. And I'm wearing the Onion Knight armor, which is the Katarina set. It's actually very... It's actually very big, very defensive. And it's hard to upgrade because I need Twinkling Tiny Knight. Which I do have, but I need to get more to like fully upgrade it. Good thing I don't need any form of, uh, don't need any of those, uh, whatchamacallisms, embers. Yeah, embers to do it. But anyway, I decided that I'm going to be less, I'm going to be less, uh, blah, 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 informal about this playthrough because I realize I've been way too, like, I've just been, like, going through, hey, go here, hey, do this, hey, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, it's not very fun. It's not really fun to do that. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through, explain a few things, but I ain't going to go into too much detail. And speaking of which, I am going to actually fall. Wait, no, actually no, I'm not going to fall yet. I'm uh, going to jump over here. Because I basically went through a whole bunch of farming. That's how I got this, because this is expensive. This is expensive as hell armor. And we're going to go down here. Uh, by the way, I got this armor from that guy. Has ridiculous prices. You can also buy like a, a ring from him, like two rings. One that is uh, boosts defense against magic. One that boosts defense against lightning. However, don't really need it. You really don't. Especially because if you can get a ring that I'm going to, I I, I hope I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get soon. It was up. Gonna just stab you in the back. And take this. Alright, now this is the key we need for the elevators that I mentioned in the last in the last episode. In the last part. But anyway, gonna go back up here. Walk. Just walk up this long stairs. I'm really excited for Bloodborne. Especially the fact that you don't have shields. So that's gonna be fun. Just go up. Go up. And we are here again. Now we're gonna fall off. Uh, not there. Not there. Uh, yeah, here should be fine. Oh, imagine if I had more of my life taken down. That would have been horrible. All right, just gonna top it up. Bam! Jump down and kill him. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so basically I just came, I just, the route I just did is basically come down here, take these guys out. Yeah, and repeat, rinse and repeat, because uh, once you have the, the Covenant Gold Surface Ring on, you get, you get like lo loads of Titanite from these guys. Either large or small, it doesn't matter. And you can just use it to just increase your weapons or whatnot, because I'm using the Boulder Shield right now. It's only at plus, four, is it plus five right now, and you go back down and... Uh, get it modified up because I got enough. T I got like, enough large titanite to get it higher up. Um, yeah, I'm not actually gonna f do this again. Uh, da -da -da. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fight the boss now. Even though I only, I'm missing two SS flasks, I'm gonna fight the boss because this boss is. He, he has a lot of HP, but he's not tough because we're gonna get a special. We're gonna get a special buddy. Alright, just gonna open this up. Go in here. And as you see, elevator that goes down. Gonna take us back down here. And that snake guy is not there. Oh. Let's go back up. Cause we actually I actually didn't want to come down here. I just wanted to show you that and also have this there so that have it activated because basically the other one goes down while this one goes up and likewise vice versa so basically i because i after this point the next area we're going to unlock a uh, the ability to warp so and once we do that we can just uh, go back warp to pretty much most of the bonfires most of them not all of them we can only warp to like major ones 
And what signifies major ones? Well, if they definitely have a fire keeper, then they, they will be major. Okay, so yeah, we're not gonna go for the. What we're gonna do is go here and to this lone castle part here. And then we're just gonna talk to this guy. Yeah, touch this. I'm gonna summon this guy. Iron Tarkus, Tarkus. Now, if anyone that doesn't know the who Tarkus is, look up. Just put in Dark Souls Iron Tarkus, and you will find nothing but videos of this guy soloing. This this boss we're about to fight. You only get you only get to use him once, and that's for this that's for this fight. And he and he is built for this fight purely, because he is a tank. Look at him. Look at this man. This this armor is actually really good. It's a uh, you're gonna you can get it in the next le you can get it in the next area, but I might I'm not sure if I'm gonna waste time getting that because I have to go do something annoying. Okay, now what you want, uh, I actually want Iron Tarkus to get in there quick first. Yeah, he's there. He's, he's aggro the guy. Oh, you see how much damage that's doing to him? Very little. Alright. Oh, he's getting... I'm gonna see if I can hit this guy. Oh my god, he just picking him up again. Oh no 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 don't throw him. No. Oh god. Hey, have my shit up. Oh oh. He's falling. Yes. He's down. Wow, I'm doing very little. My Tarkus is doing much better. I gotta improve my strength. And there we go, he's down. Good work, Tarkus. Good work. Yeah. Okay, so that's done. Uh, do I want to go there? I want to go back and hmm. There's a few things I missed, so I'm not sure if I want to go back and fight the other golem that's down there. Uh, you know I can come back later. Let's just let's just continue on. Let's just keep rolling. Nothing really major. Just a few soul items and and the golem that drops uh, some. Titan. I can't remember which one. I think it's I, I think it's a lar a slab. Uh, no, not slab. I can't remember. All right, this guy is just gonna. These guys is gonna drop us here. You see, we were over there, down there, but now we are on the wall to An Orlando. Yeah. And Orlando. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, so this is An Orlando. The reason I keep saying An Orlando because this is actually a place of significant lore importance. Basically, this is where the nobles live, and in that castle is supposed to be where they worship the gods, which are which they actually do see. The gods are not like this mystical giant giant um, fantasy people they actually do exist or their interpretation of gods are these beings with a lot of power that have control over this world uh, we're gonna meet we are gonna meet one of them at least I don't know if we're gonna meet well supposedly one of them <laughs> funny story behind that but I'll, t I'll explain that later when we get to her and look that this person here is a firekeeper I'm not going to talk to her because she really doesn't have anything interesting to say. She's just going to say, "Ah, the chosen undead, you've come to talk. You've come to take the title from the mantle from Lord Gwyn." Ah. Oh, by the way, it's a woman. I don't know why I'm making that voice. It should be more feminine like this. Oh. No, not that feminine. Yeah. 
Maybe I should talk to her just to get rid of this weird stereotype that I put on her. Anyway, let's increase strength. Increase endurance. I should increase vitality. Yeah, increase that. And we're good. Okay, let's talk to her. Just let's let's just talk to her. Well, you are a rare visitor. Yes, I am. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo. Thank you. Chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Yeah, yeah. Basically, tell me what I gotta do. Close. And. All right, now here comes the interesting part, which is tra traversing this despicable, despicable place. They're probably thinking, why is it so despicable? All she said is, let's go straight yonder. Yeah, we're going to go to the castle, but here's the problem. Nothing as it, is as it seems in Dark Souls. Remember that. So, when she's telling me I got to go straight to the, this castle right in front of me that we saw that... I saw entering. You see that castle there? I'll show you when we get there, but right now we gotta handle this guy. Remember these guys? The bosses? This only tells you that we. What's the best way to show progression? Have a boss as a main character. Sorry, as a basic enemy now. And these ones are a little bit different. They don't actually. He doesn't actually uh, breathe fire, he breathes lightning. Which we might be able to see. If he comes and stop being such a pussy. Stop being a pussy. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh god, that missed. Good thing he cannot hit me on that on that one. Come on. Yep. Thank you. For leaving yourself open. Okay, I didn't really want the tail anyway. Alright, now. As you can see, we need to go straight forward, but here's the problem. Yep. Where we... Yep. That's the bridge. Now, we can't go that way, so we have to take an alternate route. So you're probably thinking, where is this alternate route? We gotta go through there, that church. I, I presume that's a church. Pretty much all these buildings look like churches. Really. But yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. So we gotta just jump on here, on this ledge. Uh, I'm just going for this item here, which is demon... Is it demon titanite? Yep, it's Demon Titanite. That's used to upgrade some very evil, evil... Well, not, they're not really evil. They're just some um, weapons used mostly by demons and stuff like that. Alright, so we got to go through under here. And we got to go across this ledge here. Yep, you can go across the ledge. Uh, be careful, though, because you don't want to slip and fall off. Trust me, I've done it before. I've done it at worst moments as well with a lot. I did it once and I had 15 I had 15 humanity. That was that was buggered. Okay, now I want to okay. Want to jump. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I was afraid of missing that. And I'm going to wait for this guy to jump down and kill him. Don't worry about these guys. They're very weak. It's just that they do they're like ninjas basically. They wear light armor. And this guy, but they two hand their weapons. Ba bam. And they drop foreign eyes, which is actually quite useful, especially if we're going with light builds. Um, actually, let's see if I can do this. Normally, I would go up there and kill these guys, but see if I can hit them from here. Save me some time. Can I hit this chain as well? Hey.
Oh, someone dropped. Alright, this is getting annoying. Come down here. Yeah, come. Oh, you, you see why I mean they're fast. But weak. I think one of them dropped down, so that may have made it easier for us. Because we gotta go up here, and where he came, we gotta go. Yep, the other one dropped, because there was, three, there was three of them on the balcony. I just killed the one, and one of them dropped off when we weren't looking. Lucky us, but the other one is up over there, so I won't be able to hit him unless... Well, actually, maybe. Hold on, let me see. And it's hard. You see, uh, that's the thing about... Oh, I probably won't know. Uh, maybe if I go a little bit higher. Where, where is he going? Where, uh, where is he? Oh, he's going with the arrow made sound. So I can make the shot. No, I won't be able to make it from here. Alright, let's just take our time and go across. Now be careful when walking here. Because the last thing you need to do is drop to your death. And go all the way back to the bonfire we just started at. I just want to go here. Move along sl slow. It doesn't matter which which way if, they, if the passes go across. Just take your time. Take your time. Okay. Oh, and while you're here, um, you might just want to hit this chain. That drops that. Uh, I'm going to go to the left. Uh, da -da -da. Can I hit him from here? Let me see. Can I hit him from here now? Uh, let's see. Uh, I want to see if I can ki kill him before he gets to me. Because him throwing those daggers is annoying. No. There we go. There we go. He's gone. Alright. Okay. Basically, the hardest, the hardest part of this is getting across here with those guys on. So that's why you want to have some long... You want to have a bow at least. Bows are really the best. Um, crossbows, because you can't retar you can't target robot crossbows. You have to like, you have to target them in like a uh, lock onto them and then hit them. And that only works from certain distances. And really, I I prefer hitting those guys from long ranges. Because the amount of times I have died to my death here is ridiculous. Oh, and I want to show you something. Statue of this pretty lady here. Yeah, you notice anything? You know, you think those are real? Well, I mean, not the statue, because the statue is obviously not real. I, never mind. Let's just go. Let's just go set this thing now. And yeah, this is pretty. This is the part of the bridge we need to like this level so we can have basic access from the bonfire to here. Uh, is it this way? Let me see if I remember. I think it's this way. I think it, I think it's this way. Oh yeah, that was the right way. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there. Once you hit that, you want to move back. Because then when these guys come. Alright. Oh, and he drops. Let's see if I can do a drop attack on him. I uh, couldn't lock onto him there. And he's dead. Let's 
this hill with some hill with some miracle. And should I actually go down? Actually, no. I'm gonna stop here. All right then. Uh, in a minute. Uh, blah blah blah. In a minute. In the next video, you should see me go down. Uh, mm, go. Do I go down? Yeah, I'll go down. I'll go down just just to show you a few things. But anyway, I shall see you in a second. Till then. Uh, bye bye. Uh, be sure to check the links in the description for all my social, all my social links, and also link, comment, subscribe to the channel. Blah blah blah. All that stuff. Bye bye.